So this item is something that is cheap and people do need a charging cable every so often. They do break and you have to replace them. What's great about this one is that it's very unique. What's up everybody and welcome back to another week and another video. Now today I do want to start things off a little bit more different. And that's because I want to start bringing in a more human element to my content. You know, there's a lot more to, you know, Daniel than just drop shipping. And if this doesn't really interest you, that's totally fine. I know this may not be for everybody. So if you want to fast forward and get to the drop shipping stuff, you can go ahead and do that. Don't worry, that is fine with me. So what I'm going to do every single week is I'm going to reveal something about myself. I myself wasn't born here. I am from Lima, Peru, the country of the ceviche and the pisco sour. Also the land of the llamas and the alpacas. If you're a foodie and, and you're into, you know, dining and those type of experiences, then you might know that Peru, you know, ranks very high in, you know, top destinations for culinary and for restaurants and for food in general and there are great places to go visit and sightsee you know one of them is Cusco I love Cusco it's a beautiful town up in the mountains and if you've never been I highly recommend you check it out so let's keep this fun and interactive so down in the comment section let me know where you're from if you want you can even paste your flag of origin and that way we'll see how worldwide the Daniel Sells community online really is. So with that being said, thank you guys. I hope you learned a little bit more about myself and I'll be doing this every single week. So let's go ahead and get right into this week's video. So what kind of products should you be looking for during this critical time of inflation and impending recession? You need to do your homework and you need to find those products that customers will buy from you. Be at the right price and that's gonna help you to get more sales, especially right now during these difficult times. So if this topic interests you and you wanna learn more about finding the right products, using the right tools, then you're gonna to wanna to stay all the way until the end. And I want to break this video down into a couple of different categories. We're gonna spend some time talking about price because right now consumers are very price sensitive and you need to be strategic with your pricing. You want to get enough in the price so that you actually make a profit, but at the same time, you don't want to scare the customer away. The other topic I want to touch on this video is going to be the items that you should be looking for. So the first thing I want to talk about is going to be those essential items that people are buying right now. And we're going to talk about different categories that those essential items will fall under. And then the last thing I want to cover is going to be some impulse buys, which believe it or not, Consumers right now, even though you may be thinking that they're being very cautious with their spending, there's still some products out there that can entice them to make those impulse buys, especially if you are within the right price range. You're not going to want to miss this. So if you're liking so far what you're hearing about the different topics we're going to cover in this video, then give me a like. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm and it pushes my content out to a lot more. In no particular order, let me first start out with a video that I found on the internet that I found to be very interesting. And it's talking about impulse buying in 2022. So let me go ahead and play it for you. I think you'll find it interesting and very insightful. Let me stop here and go over these categories that the video is referencing as some of the top impulse buys for 2022. I will say that a lot of these do align with a lot of the products I've been selling on Facebook myself. Now clothing being in the top spot is one of the most challenging ones when it comes to selling online as well as food and grocery and maybe shoes. But if you look at household items and technology, these products do very well in Facebook. And these are items that I'm going to show you some examples using some tools that I have available. And let's see, in fact, how well are they doing? So let's just spend uh, a couple seconds talking about price because I've said this before in many other videos. And right now, if you want to get sales velocity, what that means is you want to get repetitive sales on a consistent basis. You have to be priced low right now because I've been learning more and more that the Facebook customer 
is spending on average between you know ten dollars to maybe forty-five dollars, fifty dollars on products when they're shopping on Facebook Marketplace. And let's be real, that's what right now people are kind of doing a lot of their discretionary spending is on very low cost items. And I think that's where the focus is to be. Look at your prices. If you have products in the one hundred dollars or more, you might you might want to reconsider those for maybe later on in the year. But right now you have to say between that, you know, fifteen dollar to maybe forty five dollar range. And the best suppliers to do that with right now are going to be eBay and then Amazon. Let me give you a quick example by logging into my Facebook Marketplace account and I'm looking at a listing right now. So this item is something that is cheap and people do need a charging cable every so often. They do break and you have to replace them. What's great about this one is that it's very unique. Uh, charging cable it lights up it's got LED lights and it's magnetic and the price is very cheap so these are products that you want to look for that's gonna give you that sales velocity and this is just one example of many so now let me go inside of my computer and let me show you exactly how you can find products like this using a tool I've been using for a long time now and I think you'll find this to be very helpful so an easy way to find the products is using software like Zeek Analytics now, Zeek, it's built towards helping eBay sellers find great items. However, I think by now I have tested along with many other dropshippers that Zeek is a great software to identify those products that are doing very well on the eBay marketplace. And you can take that same data and apply it over to Facebook because I found a lot of success with products that are doing very well on eBay have also sold very well on Facebook marketplace. Now, for the sake of the video and of time, I really can't go into a complete, you know, rundown on how to use the software. I'm going to give you an example of an item that I found and how you can get insights from Zeek Analytics. However, if you're interested in more information, then I would recommend you check out my course. The link is down in the description and there's actually a mini course within the course about how to use Zeek Analytics. So if you want to check that out, then the link will be done in the description. So right now, what we are looking at is for magnetic LED cables. So this item right here has a sell-through rate of 3,000%, which is great. Anything over 100 is an indication that the item is a big demand for it and is selling often. Um, as of the past uh, 30 days, it's sold over $18,000 uh, in products. So what's great about Zeek Analytics is that you can start then to scroll down and see uh, all the eBay sellers listings and see which of these items have had the most sales. So you can filter here by where it says total sold. And this particular item right here has sold over 11,000 times. And what we want to do is, you know, get a look at the price, see if there is, you know, margins to be made. So this product sells for $8.99. So you will have to take this information and then go back to Marketplace and see if there are any competitors who are maybe selling that product and how much they're selling it for. Um, but you, you can find here there's some alternatives that are lower priced. And that's what I would do and that's what I would recommend uh, is to go in and find products like the one that I just showed you and go back to Seek Analytics, look at the data, and see you know which seller has those products and how often they're selling and then you want to introduce those listings into your facebook marketplace store once you have found the item and you want to get it listed to your marketplace store it can be very time consuming if you do this manually so saving all the pictures copying all the uh, titles and the product description and just getting everything ready to then send it over to your marketplace account Luckily, there's software out there like listers that really help you to do this a lot faster. So I want to give you a quick demonstration of a lister that I've been testing over the last few weeks. And it's been able to do this all for you without you having to do any manual work. So all you need to do is click on this icon right here that says copy. But before we even get there, you have to install a Chrome extension and the Chrome extension is this one right here it goes by the name of list quick and then all you need to do is hit copy and once that is uh, been copied over to the chrome extension then you're going to see that the item is already there listed and ready for you to send over to your marketplace 
Now, the next step you want to do is hit on prepare data. It's going to bring you over marketplace listing. And then when you're ready, you're just going to hit paste the data. And it makes it so easy to bring all the information over without you having to do any of it manually. So it takes about a few seconds for it to gather all the information. So once it's already there, then you want to go ahead and make sure the condition is set to new. And you want to look for to make sure that it's going to set your price correctly. So right now it's setting it to $4, but we want to sell it for a lot more. So you're going to want to change this to, let's say you want to sell this for $15. And once you set your price, once you set your title, your product description, the quantity, then at this point, it's just going ahead and completing the entire uh, setup process, which just requires, you know, a less, a lot less clicks if you were to have to do this yourself, saving all the work. So if you're looking for a lister, then I would suggest to give a uh, list quick a try and then let me know whether or not it really speeds up your entire process. Moving on to the next topic of what product categories are most people right now, you know, making purchasing decisions on during these difficult financial times. So in the beginning, I think we mentioned clothing as one of them, as well as electronics. Now I'm referencing another website, you know, I, I love data and I love following information coming from different sources. And I want to say that looking at this graph right here, you know, clothes and shoes seems to be the one right now where a lot of people are buying. Now, this was a little risky because of returns. However, if you want to take the risk, the data keeps telling me that clothing and shoes is something that people are buying. So maybe it's something worth testing at this point. Uh, toys, games, and books. So entertainment. So people don't have a lot of money to be going out or maybe, you know, taking travel most people so definitely they're buying a lot more toys and games and things to do at home so that's something to look into personal care products i personally can vouch that this one has been doing very well i've been drop shipping products like this now for months and they have been very hot sellers so definitely something to consider now electronics i just gave you an example of a item that will be considered kind of electronics more of an accessory but also doing very well you're, you're looking at those uh, charging cables which are items that break and people have to replace and that's what you're looking for you're looking for those items that are replenishables that you know break and people have to buy again and i would say also you know accessories for your smartphone are doing very well i have sold a ton of those as well and these are things that break and people have to replace and they're that and they're very inexpensive so i will also look into accessories for your smartphone will be a good place to look for products and then obviously home furniture and and garden kind of wrap up this list uh home because a lot of people are still spending spending a lot of time at home because many of us still work from home full time so you need you know stuff for your home office and if you're spending a lot more time outdoors as well because it is the time where it's nice out and people are spending money in their garden doing home improvement and that's kind of where we are. I think this information is really going to help a lot of you guys. And these insights, I think, will give you a better idea of where to go with your product research and listing products that I think right now people are going to buy. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for all 1,101 of you who have tuned in and subscribed to my channel. If you haven't liked the video yet, then please consider liking. It does help my content to get pushed to a lot more people. And it helps the algorithm make my video a lot more describable to other viewers who might be interested in Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. Again, if you're having difficulties or issues getting started with Facebook Marketplace dropshipping or Facebook shops, I do have a new course that I recently launched. The link will be provided down in the description. I welcome you to check it out. There's a ton of value out there and a bunch of bonuses. So then I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video.